Yo, Yella, you think you're slick? Well, I hate to break it to you, but there is a new kid on the block. He goes by the name of Jonathan Duffit. I said he goes by the name of David. Yeah, my family probably wonders what the fuck I yell half the time. <laughs> Welcome to the video. <laughs> Jonathan David, it all started on the 14th of the 1st, 2000, when this lad was born. He is younger than me, and that makes me feel really old and... and like a piece of shit, because here I am just making videos, and he's out here making millions. So, I mean, yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, cool. Um, I have work rates 5 foot 10, right foot. At least, at least I'm taller than him, all right? At least I've got something over him. Anyway, he is indeed 5 foot 10 with high high work rates, right footed, 3 star, 5 star, not liking the 3 star straight off the bat, but that 5 star weak foot is where it's at. When I bought him this morning, he was 260k, however I do believe currently he is around 200k, I think on both consoles, but it'll be up there anyway. But yeah, so not a massive asking price, but an asking price nonetheless. Now this kid's face card looks unreal 91 acceleration 96 sprint speed 494 pace overall is incredible his finishing his shot power his attack positioning are all really really top tier his passing is decent and because he has five star weak foot it doesn't matter what foot he uses he should be able to pass the ball very well dribbling wise he has 88 agility 83 balance 85 reactions 88 ball control 89 dribbling and 94 composure so this kid should theoretically feel really good on the ball despite the three star skill moves but we'll see if that comes into fruition or not and then you move on to the physical stats and this guy can jump this guy can jump and win headers he's basically when i see when i see a jumping stat like that it just instantly reminds me of cr7 when he jumped up so high that he reaches the top of the burj khalifa um, but 94 stamina 83 strength and 89 heading accuracy very 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 solid it's a bit odd that he has such low aggression when he has such high strength so that's very interesting um but one thing to note about this card is he does not have good curve and trait wise he doesn't have finesse shot trait or outside foot shot trait I'm not gonna lie i don't even know what old player does so i mean there's that um but yeah so i guess let's get into the gameplay and see how he feels Well then, go on. Ooh, not a bad shot. He really gets up for those headers. Bruh. finish he can very very good finish Good turn. Oh, very unlucky there. He probably should have got a pen. He can run. Go on. Can he finish it? Can he finish it? That is the question. Good finish. Good finish. Good ball. Good assist. Good assist. It's all God from here on out. 
Let's get this clear, Doc. None of y'all can control me. New purpose, don't start asking for the old me. This preparation took patience, sweat, years, dedication. I keep a trick up my sleeve, thinking you know me. You know me. I learned how to rebound from many loss in life. Ooh. Then I learned to make plays like it's my archetype. <laughs> this is Billy Jean meets Walter White. Okay. Cause to break bad, you gotta walk with light. I know I'm talking right. This is the introduction to show you that they've been bluffing. I'm diagnosing. They animated like that stuff as I'm holy ghosting. Means that I feel it while seeing nothing, but they okie doke. It's an illusion, you see enough. I see how the game be They politicking while taking shots at you like Cheney But none of it could phase me You think it's magic, thinking you crazy That's why I leave no room for second Tracy McGrady no Now pay attention, show you tricks like a bad magician Because all the facts was missing Now you in a bad position okay. No one or the cape or the hat Now nah, nah. flick it a wrist, show a picture under influence This is paint with a twist He can whip it though, he can whip it The link up between David and Anthony Let's go And that's what we were saying earlier If that, if if David gets into those opportunities, he's going to put them away. Okay, so in the four short games we played with him, he actually did score three goals and got three assists, which is actually a very, very decent return considering we were playing in foot champs and we did happen to lose like one or two of the games. So it's actually a decent return in comparison to how I was playing. Now, this guy's face card stats actually kind of reflect the way he plays. His pace is electric, his dribbling is phenomenal. However, there is one big, big problem with his dribbling and that is the fact he has three star skill moves and it makes every skill move he does really slow and that's very upsetting because when you don't do skill moves and you just genuinely dribble with the ball, he feels really good. But as soon as you start doing skill moves, that's when it falls apart. And to me, that's also the separating fact between Ben Yedda and this card is the fact that Ben Yedda has 4-star skills. However, his passing and his shooting off both feet was absolutely superb. He was super clinical and he, he knows how to pick a pass, which I was actually really impressed with. And then physicality-wise, he was able to hold his own against bigger defenders, which you don't get too often, especially with players that are around 5'10 with physical stats. You don't often see them hold their own against a lot of defenders just because of their size in general. But this guy seemed to hold his own and he did really well with his back turn goal. And then another pro I wanted to go over was his high high work rates. They're really, really good. However, that is a personal preference of mine. I do like my strikers with high high work rates. However, it's not for everybody, so it will take some adapting and getting used to, but I do appreciate him dropping back and coming to the ball because he is able to hold it up, turn, and explode at a rapid pace. So it does work in his favor very, very well. And then really the final pro I wanted to quickly touch on is the fact that he's in Liga and he's from Los Lila, which means he does get a strong link to Renato Sanchez, which will come in handy for a lot of people's teams. So this guy is a very viable option for getting into a team with meta players around him. And he doesn't come at that big of an asking price being at 200K. However, he did have a few cons and that was the three star skill mirrors. So we've already touched on it and it does really hurt this player. Unfortunately, I wish he had four star and he might get a four star skill move upgrade, but until then, it's a massive con. And then you also have the nation. Canada, we all love Canada, but they don't have that many good players in FIFA, which makes him really hard to link out of teams if you don't run the likes of Neymar and Mbappe or Renato Sanchez, for example. And then really the final issue with this card was he has 63 curve as well as no finesse shot trade. So really you're gonna be powering it and you shouldn't really go for finesse shots at all with this card, which can be a negative at times, but it's not a deal breaker, especially with someone with five star weak foot, it definitely isn't a deal breaker. It just means you're gonna to have to overwork a little bit more to get into those shooting scenarios. However, this guy I thoroughly enjoyed and the 200k, he is a very good shout. So for me, I want to give him an 8.5 out of 10 in terms of enjoyment factor. And the only reason I didn't rate it higher was because he is missing that 4 star skill moves. And if he had 4 star skill moves, this guy would be probably double the price in my opinion. Actually, I'll tell you what I forgot to tell you is this guy in the air is phenomenal. Being 5 or 10, he can jump so high, it's ridiculous. And he wins 90% of the headers and gets them on target because he has good heading accuracy, which is actually something that not very many players have in this game at all. So if you do happen to get into those heading scenarios, this guy can bury it. And then moving on to value for coins, we are looking at an 8.5 as well because he doesn't have that four star skill moves. If he had the four star, this card would just be a different animal, but he doesn't have it. Whereas you can get a player like Ben Yedda with four star skill moves 
and he provides a bit more. So as a can, Banyata is probably better just because he does have that extra skill move. However, this guy on the break is unrivaled. So really, it depends if you're a skiller or you like to just dribble like a normal person and just pace abuse. Um, so if you like pace, then this dude is for you. I couldn't recommend this guy enough for the price point. I think he's very, very well priced, and I can't see him changing much from 200k. And saying that, lads, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and hopefully the video did help you guys. And if it did, let me know down below. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Every little bit of support is muchly, muchly? Greatly? Greatly. Greatly appreciated, and yeah, I hope to catch you all in the next one, and peace out, lads. I be laying on the beach, getting laid, look away, I ain't never afraid. I ain't never afraid. I be laying in the crib, getting paid from the streams, they dreaming all day. I ain't never afraid. I be chilling by the beach for the day in the fleece. It be cold in the shade, opening beer bottles up on my teeth, but my girl be like, hey, don't fuck up your teeth.